Okay, we're gonna try this exam question. I think most of you have got started on this one. It says figure two shows a sketch of the curve with these parametric equations here. First of all, it wants you to show that dy by dx is equal to k root three tan of two t, where k is a constant to be determined. So let's see how much we can squeeze in on this page here. We've got x is root three sine two t. So what does that differentiate to? Two root three, cos two t. Okay, and it then says that y is equal to four cos t squared. Notice how I've written it differently, like immediately now. So when you differentiate this, you will get that dy by dt, well, you've got four blah squared. That's going to go to four, not four, sorry, is it? It's going to go to eight, eight blah, multiplied by the derivative of blah, which is minus sine t. So you've then got minus eight cos t sine t. And we're trying to find out what dy by dx is equal to, which is going to be this one, minus eight cos t sine t, divided by two root three cos two t. Now the thing we're aiming for is for k root three tan two t. So when you look at the thing you're aiming for and the thing that you have, what is the biggest difference between them? The, uh, yeah, the arguments. Here we've got 2t, but these ones here are in terms of t. So we're going to need to think about how we can combine the numerator. What is minus... Yeah, good, because 2t... Sorry, 2 sine t cos t is sine 2t. So we can take out a factor of 4. So it's going to be minus 4 sine 2t over 2 root 3 cos 2t. We've then got... The, these bits are obviously just going to be the tan 2t part. And then you've got to do 4 divided by 2 root 3, which is 2, two, two over root 3. But we don't want it as 2 over three, root 3. We want it in rationalized form. So it would be 4 root, four, two root, three three. Two root 3 over 3. So it is minus 2 root 3 over 3 tan 2t. So what is the value of k? Good. So k is minus 2 thirds, because that's the extra bit that you've got going with the root 3 there. Okay, then it wants us to do uh, the equation of the tangent to see where t is pi over 3. So if t is equal to pi over 3, I need three things. I need to find out the gradient. So that's going to be minus 2 root 3 over 3 multiplied by the tan of 2 pi over 3. Now, tan of 2 pi over 3 is going to be the minus tan of pi over 3, but I'd probably put this in the calculator. What does the gradient simplify to? Three, exactly three. Great. We're then going to find out what the x coordinate is, which is root three sine of two pi over three, and that comes to uh, for, x. for x three over two, and then the y coordinate, which is four times the cos of pi over three. That one we can do without a calculator or squared. Cos of pi over three is cos of sixty, which is a half. A half squared is a quarter, a quarter times four is one. So the equation of the tangent, and they want it in a y equals form, is gonna be y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. Oh, what's the gradient? Two. Okay, let's just double check that. So tan of two pi over three is minus one over root three. So it should be, I think it's, what do you get, minus? You just got two? Yeah. Okay, great. I'll trust you that it's two. And we'll have a look at the mark scheme, which I've got on the next page. So instead of it being a three there, it should have been a two. So it's two brackets x minus three. All I'm going to do now is expand and then add on the one. That's the bit I always am like, positives and negatives. So you get y equals two x minus two for this one. And I'll put the mark scheme up on the next page so we can see, did we actually get this? Yep, it is y equals 2x minus 2. And we did get that k was minus 2 over 3 for this one that we've got here. Okay?